Is my voice clear enough? Yes, it is clear, Judy. You can start now. Okay. okay, thank you. I'm not capable and I can't do anything. Familiar with that sentence? This is what we call as imposter syndrome, where we thought that we are not competent as what others perceive us to be. I had done a little survey on my own Instagram account. Guess what? Out of 170 participants, 98% of them do have this syndrome. Well, worry not. You are not alone. I used to brand myself as a potato, where I thought that I'm not competent enough to do anything. So now I invite you to use my time machine and travel back to those memory where I was a potato before that. Let me introduce myself. My name is Judith, but let's take this short time to change my identity to Miss Jude Tato. When things went wrong, the best to blame was always myself. Instead of having a good self-talk and petting myself after going through a rough time, I chose to say mean things to myself. You're stupid, incompetent, egoistic, and you don't deserve all of those opportunities. See, others are even much more better than you. Those were the words that kept haunting me for a long time. When I got any good opportunity, it. I'm afraid of not getting the best ending result. All of this story leads me to become comfortable in my own comfort zone, never want to take any challenges, and of course, belittle myself. Now, let's write the time machine again and evaluate Miss Jude Tato. If you pay attention to my story, I had given you the hint on what things that triggers me to doubt myself and miss a lot of opportunities. Yes, it's all in here, in my own mind. The mindset of I'm not capable enough to do anything and always compare myself with others stops me from developing and challenging myself. I really do regret to miss a lot of golden chances that I could take to develop myself, starting from academic competition, being the part of student councils, learning more skills, and many more. By knowing the root of my problem, slowly, I tried to change my mindset, and here I am today. Rather than saying mean things to myself, I choose to say, just do it, and negotiate with my inner voice. The things that I like to say to myself right now is people trust and depend on you for some reason. They know my potentials and I am the one that should develop it. Don't be afraid of any challenges because you can't avoid challenges. They come to your life to give you experiences, life lessons, and even teach you how not to give up easily. Let's come back to what we have to face. Mind shapes reality. Your mind controls what you do in real life. And of course, control the ending result of your action. If I still have the mindset of Jude Taito, probably I'm not going to stand here in front of you today. So when you are having self-doubt, Remember this, every individual is different and those differences makes us unique in our own way. Just do it, enjoy the process and always pet no matter what you did, your mind 
shapes your reality. Thank you. Well, what an inspiring speech you have, Judy. Thank you. Next, I will invite Mr. Arvind Pu for giving us feedback and questions for Judy. Mr. Arvind Pu, time and place is yours. Thank you, Jocelyn. Very interesting, Judy. So I just know, previously you called to NATO and I changed to just do it. Okay, a very simple question. What are the biggest challenges that you have ever faced in your life? Judy, you have 30 seconds to respond. Okay, thank you, Arifin, for the questions. Mm, the challenge that I have in my life is when people trusted me to do something and they know my potential, I always rejected it. And then I always regret at, regret at the end why I didn't take those opportunities. So when I have the mindset of just do it, I realize that this whole time I have the ability to do so. But all of the mindset of I'm not capable of doing anything stops me from developing myself. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Mr. Arvindpo, and thank you, Judy.